Good afternoon. This video is for Oppo and uh, Salt Lake City. This is Chris at North Texas Equipment. Scott asked me to shoot this video for you. He broke his ankle, so I'm trying to help him out. Um, uh, today is Friday, July the 6th, so we're going to walk around uh, this uh, GMC 7500 and uh, fly the boom for you, let you listen to the engine, uh, show you some of the imperfections of the truck and uh, show you some of the, uh, the benefits of having it. So uh, first thing, this one has the Alltech boom on it. Over center, this is the Rolex of the booms, which you already know that. Um, the body on it is really straight, no major dents or anything. Real clean white surface for your uh, company's decals. Um, a phone number on the side of that in black it just stands out anywhere you go. Um, great advertising. Um, the tires still in really good shape. We'll carry on down here. Um, that's where the pony motor, Kubota pony motor is inside of here. Everything's real nice on that. Got outriggers and uh, sides of the cab are real nice and straight and clean. Uh, there's a little crack right there, as you can see in the fiberglass. A little fiberglass work can probably take care of that. I'll step back and show you the front of it. Everything looks looks really good. It is a used truck. Um, but I mean, it's in great shape, especially for the year. Walk around a little closer. The steer tires, um, lots of tread on those. Straight on the cab, little, you know, scratches here and there. Same thing on this side, you know, no major, I mean, there's some scratches right here. Uh, from brush or whatnot, but there's no major dings on this side as well or dents rather Take you around the back side There's the boom. So what I'll do right now is I'll have uh, Eric start up the uh, truck engine for you and let you listen to how smooth it is Real, real quiet, smooth engine. No knocks or ticks or tocks or anything. All right, now what we'll do is uh, we're gonna have him hop out and we're gonna have him fire up the pony motor uh, and we're gonna fly this boom for you and dump the bed uh, Running off the pony motor now. This also has the auxiliary PTO for a backup Just in case you're out there and um, Run out of uh, fuel now a little side note on this pony motor is it runs off the same fuel tank as the big truck Okay, so you have the pickup tube is at a quarter of a tank of fuel. So your truck has to have at least a quarter of a tank of fuel in order to operate that pony motor. And uh, so that way, if you're up there and you're just chopping down trees and uh, you know, you're not really paying attention to fuel level and it cuts off, you can um, also use the PTO as an auxiliary to get yourself to the nearest gas station or to finish up your job. Um, and uh, come on down and take it to the house. Right now he's uh, getting that up for you. It goes way up there, 60 footer. As you can see, the hydraulics are really smooth on it. And that Kubota engine is a three cylinder Kubota gasoline engine. Uh, very low maintenance piece of equipment, um, uses hardly any fuel, 
and it's unleaded gasoline. It's not expensive diesel. So the gasoline trucks are a very high profit um, piece of equipment versus the diesel. And as you can see, that thing is going way up there. And it will keep going over to the other direction if you want it to. He's going to show you that everything works as we say it does. And he's spinning it now. And he's going to turn it back the other way and then dump that bucket for you. gasoline trucks are uh, very very low maintenance and expensive high profit pieces of machinery especially in comparison to the diesels these are perfect for uh, owner operators that want to keep a little bit more money of uh, a little bit more money in their pockets rather than shelling out for operation costs all the time. And what he's gonna do now is he's gonna button everything up for you. I'll give it another walk around. And he is going to lower all that good stuff down. smooth hydraulic operation. Alright, and he's going to finish that up. And again, my name's Chris. Um, hopefully I showed you everything as if you were here looking at the truck yourself. Um, if you have any questions, give Scott a call. I'm sure you have his number. Or if uh, he's unable to be reached, you can give me a call at 817-889-1035. And again, my name's Chris, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks, sir.